Hello everyone and welcome to this week's What's Happening in Trinity as well as Taking Our Faith Home. I'm Pastor Scott, one of the pastors here at Trinity Lutheran Church and I appreciate you spending this time with me. First off, let's talk about things going on here at the church. We're at that time of the year now where we're starting to transition, believe it or not, from sort of our summer schedule going into our fall scheduling, um, which is also the sort of the beginning of our church year. So I would ask that you please pay close attention to announcements over the next few weeks here as things will start to change a little bit. Um, things may start to pick back up that had recessed for the summer and there may be some new things also starting up as well. This Wednesday, the 27th of July, is our final family fun night. We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna meet at Lilbert Park at 6 p.m. and spend our evening there. We're asking that folks be able to bring um, food for your family, however many people that is, and uh, we're gonna meet at the, at the picnic tables by the playground at the back part of um, the Lilburn Park. And then, you know, there's a playground there, there's walking trails, there's a big open field, we can play games. There's a splash pad that I believe is open till seven o'clock. That's a new thing, a new feature added at the Lilburn Park if you haven't been there recently. Um, but we just wanted to have a fun evening gathering together. So that's open to anybody. Anybody can come to that. And that is Wednesday night at six o'clock at the Lilburn Park. And of course, pay close attention to the rest of the meetings and, and everything that's going on from the calendar that's included in this email. Some things that are coming up I want you to be aware of. August 14th, that's a big day, August 14th. Oh, by the way, before I get into that, this Sunday, the 31st of July, we're doing the blessing of the backpacks and our school workers. So make sure to bring your backpacks and school workers, make sure you come. We're gonna offer God's blessing upon a successful school year as we get ready to begin another one. Then, after that, August 14th, this is a day to sort of circle in your, in your calendar, in your mind, your phone, whatever you have. August 14th, it's rally day, rally day, and that's sort of the the kickoff beginning of the fall programming. Our worship times will switch back to 8.30 a.m. and 11. 8.30 a.m. and 11. Because on the 21st of the next week, Sunday school will start in between the services. August 21st, Sunday school will start. I believe on rally day, the kids and the parents will be able to meet their teachers. But the actual classes start on the 21st at 9.45 in between the services. Also on the 14th, we will do our quilt dedication. The quilts that have been made throughout the year that will then go on the Lutheran Road Relief Truck um, later in the month. We are gonna have a mission fair. We are asking all the different ministries to have a display, a booth, so that people can go around, see the different ministries you have, and maybe look at some that they might be interested in sharing their gifts and serving the mission and ministry here at Trinity. Also, and you will get more information on this coming up, on Rally Day, our plan right now is to return to doing communion at the railings, as well as passing the plate for the offering. Those are about the two things maybe that we, we have not um, completely gone back to. So our plan is, again, on Rally Day, um, to start taking communion at the rails, for those who would like to do that, as well as passing the plate for the offering. You will get more information and detail on that here in the next couple of weeks. And then as I alluded to earlier, later in the month, we are gonna have the packing for and the loading of the Lutheran Road Relief Truck that comes here on the last weekend of August. There is more information and signups in your weekly announcements. So please pay attention to that because lots of hands, lots of people are needed. Um, that's a semi truck, that's a big truck. Um, I helped load it last year, it was, it was a lot of fun. Had a, lot of good, had a lot of fun with the people there, you know, doing a good thing, working together. It was a lot of fun. So I would commend that um, to you. Again, that will be coming up toward the end of August. And again, like I said, lots of things starting to change a little bit now, transitions, starting up things. Pay close attention to your announcements. Our thoughts for this week. There's a word that pops out this week as I look at not only our scripture for the week, but the lessons for this week, and the word is generosity. Generosity. And I want to read to you from Colossians 3, verses 2 through 3. 
where it reads, set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. This has been probably one of the biggest struggles of humanity from the beginning of time and will be to the end of time. Priorities, where we look for happiness, where we seek fulfillment, what is the real meaning of life? All those things start to come out when you, when you talk about setting your mind on things that are above instead of setting your mind on things that are here. I read recently that sort of the opposite of greed is generosity. So therefore the opposite of generosity is greed. And when I read this, I thought about that. You know, that what this is talking about is how we go about looking for fulfillment in our lives. And so many times we look for security and fulfillment in the things of this earth. We think that possessions, money, um, power, reputation, prestige, all those things will bring us the happiness or the fulfillment that we're looking for. And while there's nothing wrong with those things, and while they can bring a certain amount of fulfillment in our life, they don't bring the deeper things that us human beings are made for and look for. See, we were made in the image of God. And God is a God of love. God is a God of relationship. God is a God of community. God is a humble God that wishes nothing more than to give of God's self. So when you think about it, if we're made in that image, then where we find fulfillment is not necessarily on the accumulation or getting as much as we can here on earth. It's actually in the giving away of it. You know, that's what it means here for you have died. You have died to yourself. You have died to the world. You have died to all these things that, that pull you away from God and others. Because our life now is hidden with Christ, where we find our true God. And so this week, take some time to think about or pay attention where you look for your fulfillment, where you look for your life. Is it the things here or is it, is, is it the things from above, the bigger things, the deeper things in life? And do we tend to approach our everyday lives trying to accumulate for ourselves, get everything for ourselves, or are we willing to let go and to give, to share, and to let go? It's interesting that greed sucks life out of us, whereas generosity brings blessing and life to us. You know, they, you know one of the reasons why the accumulation of wealth is, is a, a tricky thing in a, a slippery slope is because we think that by the accumulating of things, we will fulfill these inner needs that we have, that we're born with, that we're made with in the image of God. And when they don't, we think, well, the reason is, is because we just need a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And that's where, where we see, you know, all these problems that come about with wealth, possessions, greed, power, prestige. It's not because there's anything wrong with them. Because there isn't. They are blessings from God. But when they're used by people to try to find their own security, when they're sort of hoarded by people for themselves, thinking they're going to bring something that they won't, that's where the problem is. The only way we really find life is in knowing the love of God, in knowing the love of people and community, you know, having a sense of personal integrity and pride. I mean, that's where you find life, and that's what those things from above are instead of the things here on earth. So watch this week. Think about, look at ways you can be generous. Look at ways you can share and give away and pay attention to the blessing that that will bring into your life. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, thank you for this day. We give you thanks for all the blessings of this life. So many of them that we don't even think about on a day-to-day -day basis. We just take them for granted and at many times even think that they are our rights, but they are all true blessings from you. Dear Lord, help us to be a people that look for true fulfillment in you, that find true fulfillment in the higher things in life, the things that you teach us, the things that you show us bring life, such as love and community, mercy, humility, and grace. Help us to focus on those things. Help us to find that true life is found not in accumulating, but in giving of ourselves just as you gave yourself for us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 
Hey, God's blessings to you folks. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed week.